Well, uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, Whiteheads Creek Tarkham Fire Brigade. Uh, my name's Michael Wooten. I'm the uh, Executive Director of Business Services at CFA, and uh, it's a great pleasure to have everybody here today for the official launch of the Regional Radio Dispatch Service. Uh, welcome all, and especially welcome to all CFA members. Uh, appreciate the work that CFA members do, not only uh, in this area, but right across the state of Victoria. What it does do is give a reach to 500 brigades that we couldn't get to before to dispatch by radio. It's a very, very important system and a very, very important capability in emergency management right across Victoria. The better coverage and the quality of that coverage means better safety, not only for communities, but also for CFA firefighters. I'd like to thank ESTA. Without ESTA, CFA doesn't have a voice. Uh, they are, they are dispatchers, they are the voice to many of our people and uh, an invaluable service uh, right across Victoria as well. Um, it's great to be here today in District 12, the first regional CFA district to transition to RIDS. And since uh, Mick uh, probably covered most of my notes, <laughs> and I, I, I promise that I, I won't be telling stories, but I'll, I'll have to. Two years ago when I joined the uh, CFA, exactly two years ago, on a day four I arrived to Seymour and uh, there were lots of uh, passionate individuals talking about the radio communications, so we had a really robust discussions. And I'm glad to see that uh, RRDS uh, solved most of the problems that they had at the time. So it's not just giving us a better coverage, better level of coverage, but also the clarity of the voice over the radio communications. Uh, as Mick said, I would like to thank all the uh, local group communication officers for the fantastic work they've been doing in serving CFA and the communities. Uh, RRDS is now operational in, in six uh, regional CFA districts with a reminder to follow throughout June and July. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wonderful pleasure for me to be here this morning and for my colleagues from Telstra and also our business partner Motorola. And let me begin my remarks by thanking the CFA very much for the invitation to join you this morning at this very important event. We, as you have heard at Telstra and Motorola, have had the great honour of working with the CFA in building this wonderful and very important new network. And this radio dispatch network, of course, is a commitment by all of us, I think, to support public safety and emergency services. Of course, particularly in those times when safety and security is paramount at those very important and critical times, such as bushfires. To the CFA personnel, Motorola personnel, um, Telstra, Chris Pearce, to Esther Personnel Department of Justice, and especially the volunteers. Thank you for giving up your time to be here and thank you for keeping the community safe. You have the admiration of the entire state behind you. Today we launch a world-class communication system for the CFA Regional Brigades and it's about time. Advantage will be that the new system means that firefighters can be attending a fire we can speak directly to the dispatch operators at ESTA. This is a $66 million investment, providing 24-7 virtually anywhere in the state and reduces the dead spots. And having spoken to the local CFA guys here, it was absolutely crucial that we got that sorted out because nothing worse than attending a fire and then losing communication with a base system. Six CFA districts, already using the new radios, the rest will come on stream by August this year. And the feedback that we've had so far is that the radio sound is perfect. And it also means those dead spots are being addressed. Congratulations and officially launch this brand new communication systems. Well done, congratulations.